Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week on Friday, Microsoft rolled out their latest insider preview build to the beta channel Insiders, built 22635.3500, and that rolled out with the update KB5036985. Now the beta channel is starting to see possible features that could roll out um, with our annual 24H2 feature update later this year. So if you are interested in possible up and coming new features, then just a quick look at some of the so-called key highlights from this latest beta channel build. Now I think the first new feature is going to cause a bit of debate in certain circles. And you'll see why, because Microsoft says they are starting to roll out the new account manager on start menu. Now I think a lot of people, including myself, would call this an ad or what I would say a nag ad. And my reason for that is because this is something that is already available in your main settings menu on Windows 11 on your accounts page but Microsoft now is pushing this out as a so-called shortcut to your account for want of a better word on the start menu so as mentioned I think this is going to cause a little bit of debate and personally this is not something I would like to see on my start menu but nonetheless Microsoft says that when you sign in with a Microsoft account the new design gives you a quick what they say glanceable view of your account benefits and makes it easy to manage your account settings. So that's going to possibly feature in the start menu with 24H2. Now moving on to the next. And Microsoft says if your Microsoft account uses a Gmail address. You can now send email to yourself from Windows Share Window. And receive it in your Gmail account. And this is actually something I think is a nice step forward. Unlike the previous feature, because as an example, I use a Gmail account and this could become beneficial if and when it does roll out. And then for settings, we get kind of two changes. I'm just going to mention the first one. And they start in the rollout of a new banner with an Add Now button on your settings account page for adding a recovery email address if you hadn't if you haven't added one for your Microsoft account yet, and Microsoft says this will only show if you are signed in with a Microsoft account. And then what we are looking here, they are introducing a new Game Pass recommendation card on the settings homepage. And they mentioned that the Game Pass recommendation card on settings homepage will be shown to you if you actively play games on your PC. So that may be of benefit if you are playing a lot of games on your PC, as mentioned. And then moving on to the next, and we've spoken about this previously in previous insider builds but yeah we can see they're introducing a new navigation bar yeah to the left um, allowing you to switch between a dedicated widgets as we can see in this screenshot dashboard and other integrated dashboards like discover so basically that's your news feed for want of a better word now i actually think this is a nice move because personally from time to time although i don't i don't like a lot of news being pushed in my face i do refer to some of these news articles from time to time um, on my widget board and my news and interest feed so if you uh, you still want the news feed but you don't want to see it um, on a day-to-day -day, you can always just have that uh, widget layout and then you can always just scroll back or click back to the the news feed when you are needing just to check out a news article for whatever reason so this may be of benefit and obviously currently in the stable version of windows 11 you are able to um, actually hide the news feed as i have posted uh, previously and i'll leave that video in the end screen if you would be interested and then just to mention the last one um, they're also making some improvements to the widgets button apparently on the taskbar so that the icons on the taskbar are clearer and they're also rolling out a larger set of animated icons too. So quite a lot going on with the widgets board in this update. But I think the big one here is that a Microsoft account, uh, the, the, start of, the start of the rollout of the new account manager on the start menu. Um, just a, for me personally, I just think it's a little bit um, too much of an ad in your face on the start menu. And then over and above that, um, we get known issues because obviously, although beta channel is closer to a stable release it is still a preview build so we can expect a couple of known issues so that's more or less guys what's new in the latest beta channel build 22635.3500 that ro rolled out late last week so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one